The EDUCAS WJEC specification requires candidates to apply proportionalism to the ethical issue of immigration. The difficulty with the practical application of ethical theories is that it is rarely straightforward. Any simplistic explanation is likely to be limited. We must recognise that not only are there a range of reasons why a person might wish to migrate to another country, but there are also numerous ways in which a country may respond given the needs of the citizens within it. However, an additional difficulty with proportionalism is that there is no consensus amongst those who call themselves proportionalists or revisionists as to how proportionate reason is to be applied. Hoos himself says at the end of his book that if we are satisfied that proportionalism is what must be taught, we must now ask how it is to be taught, in recognition of the fact that no objective method has been agreed. Immigration is the act of a person moving to live permanently within a foreign country. An individual may move because they are looking for a better quality of life, they may wish to find work or join family. It is also possible that they are fleeing from war or an oppressive regime. An economic migrant is a person who moves to another country to improve the quality of their lives because maybe they have better opportunities than where they began. There are those who may immigrate to preserve their human right of respect for private and family life or join their family. Asylum seekers look to be granted permission to stay in a new country as a refugee because their lives are in danger. None of these types of immigration are illegal. However, whether a person is granted permission to stay can be controversial since some worry about the difficulties a country might face if immigration numbers are high, unrestricted or prolonged because they are concerned about the distribution of resources for existing members of society and the control of public order. It is important to remember that proportionalism is an interpretation of natural law and is thus a Christian ethic. Therefore, the application of proportionalism to the issue of immigration should reflect a Christian, specifically Roman Catholic, understanding of the relationship between a nation, its systems and the people and those who wish to enter it. In an address by Pope John Paul II to the UN in 1995, he distinguished between patriotism, a proper love of one's country, and nationalism, which he described as fundamentalism that teaches contempt for other nations and cultures. He declared that true patriotism never seeks to advance the well-being of one's own nation at the expense of others. So Roman Catholic Christian teaching recognises that love or respect for one's own country does not require a nation to mistreat others or deprive them of fundamental rights as a human being. The proportionalist maxim is that it is never right to go against a principle and so any precept of natural law that guides ruling on immigration should be adhered to. This is very clear and lays out for moral agents what is good, and thus there is a moral duty to uphold them. But different proportionalists then apply the second part of the maxim, unless there is a proportionate reason which would justify it, in different ways. Three possible approaches are identified here, but these are not the only ways of understanding proportionate reason, and in an examination to apply other scholarly methods is acceptable.